Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial of Reforged UI Designer. This tutorial we shall make a shop user interface. As shown in this Hall of Fame, the latest thing made by me. This shop. I will be making this. Okay, so let's get started. First I will insert the background as a custom backdrop. Let's go to three pictures. Shop. Size it. Okay, I think that's very good. Now we'll add here a button. Custom button. Now can either okay let's first change the names to what was this name called? Yeah shop background. Okay. This will be shop button. Okay. I can I may either add a texture. I don't really have a suitable texture for uh, an empty button. Not really, I don't. Of course, for this, I forgot to add the texture back. Let's give it a texture shop shop. Will be okay. Shop shop. Fine. This, I guess, I will leave this empty because later on, when doing the functionality. Oh, when you do the functionality, I will not do it in this video. You will just change this, the texture of this button by selecting its backdrop. So it can be empty when it started. It's not a problem. Now I will duplicate it white just to measure the distance between this and this. Let's get the calculator. Okay, so the left edge of this is 0 0.3, 4, 3, that's 0 0.483. Minus this location is 0 0.27, so 0 0.783 horizontally. And let's open another calculator, uh, this is it down, okay, and move this to here. Now, let's see the bottom of this is 0 0.433. Here it is, bottom left, so this is the left, and this is the bottom. Minus, let's get the cursor over here, yep. 0 0.418. Okay, let's try these values. Delete this. And table array, how many rows? 5. How many columns? It's 3. Okay, let's see. 0 0.015. And 0 0.0783. 783. Okay. Okay, that was like very wrong. Like wrong on multiple levels. Control Z. That was like wrong on really multiple levels. Five rows, three columns. What would be very hard about this? Seven eight three. This is a dear one. Almost perfect, but not really perfect. So I guess I would control Z. Okay, so the horizontal distance can be increased. A vertical distance can be decreased. Control Z. Again, five rows, three columns. This was one five. It was much. Okay, let's one three. This was seven eight. Okay, let's try seven eight three. Right, try it seven nine. Perfect. But well, almost, yeah, I can just manually move these elements. That's very good. Okay, and they are named T0, 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 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 3. Okay. So they have also array namings for easy functionality making. Yeah, very good. The next step is adding this. Okay, let's add adding the text. The text, of course, is a child of the button because if the button is not visible, then the text should not be visible. So it's a child. Text, let's add here one, two, three. 
I try to get this oh, this red makes it very hard to really get this okay I made a color but I, the, I like white I don't what I like I have a bit taste in color okay so the shop that's for the right shop price for example of course when editing the name you have to press enter so it'll be saved tooltip for parent no okay let's do or not yet i should really add a major functionality instead of the one we're doing it i guess okay so the left of this is 0.439 minus this gap right mm, yeah 0.343 it is equal to 0.96 Move this like here and then press this, get the y coordinate 0 0.4317 uh, minus yeah 0 0.39. Okay, let's try delete this. Okay, uh, t blurry 5t mind me 0 0.96. I'm six. The other was zero point zero four one seven. Four one seven. Array parent, yes. Why? Because I want each element to be a child of the corresponding parent element. Because both are arrays. Well, it does not perfect, but I don't really like. I don't want to just undo and then change. Yeah. I don't really want to. Okay, so we're or no, let me just fix this. Okay, I guess it's okay. Now I want to add the total money. This is just a very forward show money. Let me just, yeah correct name with the correct parent right and here i'm zero 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 having a long text doesn't really hurt like if i do this this is not hurt, hurt in any way it's okay and especially if there is a long number i guess better be displayed even if it will look bad than just be hidden yeah, i can increase the scale looks good and give a color but no i can add a close button here the close button where close thread no, played no let me go to quest log and steal this yeah i guess i will just put this here a close button close button okay so everything looks good this is setup the items are setup setup number setup what else maybe we need oh yeah yeah, yeah. let's add some tool tips for the buttons like when hovering over this uh tool tip will appear okay so selecting this i will add a custom backdrop give it a texture Okay, hold on. I forgot to give this a texture, or like this was okay. Nice. And then Mount Jesus has texture. Okay, this is the only thing that has texture, and also this. Let's see. Okay. Is it here. Yes. Uh, very really nice. Oh yeah. Or okay, not not very oh yeah, yeah that's very oh yeah. Okay, what else? Mm. So this will be tool tip. Fine by me. So this is the tool tip, so it should be tool tip. We're on tool tip to be yellow. Okay, 
Now let's, I want multiple, I want tooltip for every button here, right? So I want like uh, a big number of tooltips in the same place. I would simply use circular array. It's actually, it is a different style from the tabular because this is modern. Okay, so I'll basically make it a zero. How many do I want? Okay, like uh, five multiplied by three is 15. I like math. And I repair it because every tooltip is corresponding to a different button. Yeah, it is made. If I do this, here it is. I'll it or give it back. Okay, from this, from the tree panel, you can see the hierarchy. Shop button have both shop price and shop tooltip C. Okay, now let's select tooltip C. When creating an array over an array, like an array parent, it is advised to select, to make the original free element to be arrayed, be like parent to the zero, zero. So it doesn't cause any issues. Let's put a text. I will name this title. Title frame. Oh, I, uh, I meant here, title frame. And here I will just write the name. What was its name? Tooltip. Tooltip title. Perfect. Give it size. I don't think of the size. Uh, of course, this button this is disabled. Why? Because it's been already tooltip. Tooltip cannot have tooltip. Anyway, this is good. Now I want to make this also as also a circular array for its parent to tip C and array parent, yes. So now, as you can see from the tree, each tooltip has its own tooltip title. Perfect. Now, for OK, Control Z, I don't want this kind of element. I will also select tooltip C, select the index of zero, and then add on it to avoid issues. Because, for example, if I select tool tipsy one and add an element on it, then try to array, it may cause a mistake or a bug. So it's better to do this. Okay, let's see. Description multi line. Okay, I can add more. I like. Maybe I can a few lines so that it's visible. Okay, fine. It's ready. I will also let me add a tooltip description and then circular array zero count fifteen zero. Of course, this is more modern than the table array. That's why it saves the last enter data, and this is very fucking nice. Sorry for cursing, let's do submit. Okay, so now from the tree you can see each tooltip has both title and description. I can also add uh, I can also add a, a backdrop here, bold indicator, a backdrop and a number, but I think this is enough. So now this is set up and this is ready to be tested. Okay, so first let me open this project i don't need any of this really yep okay so i guess make a new project and make a new custom script be ready and now i'll go to no oh, custom image sorry i mean asset manager delete this okay except for exit because i'm using it and then i will import import what Tooltip. We name it to tooltip, yeah. And then import create textures um, shop shop. No, not just not the bin, not the BNG. I need the BLB. BLB my day. Ha ah, ah. ha. What else do I need? 
is done. Of course, if I want to, uh, for multiple frames over each other, if I want to edit a specific one, I can simply, for example, let's have the second title be different. I can select it from here and title frame two. Select this from here, title frame one. Select this from here, title frame three. Easy. And for this two, description two, come, uh, no, this is one. And I can select this from here, this is two. Select this from here, this is four, because this is three. Okay. Let's continue with what I was doing. Yeah, okay, so I need first texture, second texture, third texture, I guess I'm done. Okay, now let's export, shall we? TypeScript works, works, yes, let's go with that. In quest log, yes. I should, I already have it open somewhere, here it is. Control A, Control C, let's go. Check. Mm, what? Digital in octal. Wait, what? Since when was this a problem? What? Okay, let's try this. All right, this is, does not work. What? Since when was this? Octation. What? Okay, and at uh, changing blends, I will just try below. This is this octal thing needs fixing. Does not even make sense. Like it, it literally used to work. I have no idea what happened here. Why does this work? Yeah? What? Okay, whatever. This is a big hit fix. But for now, let's go to. I guess let's change to lower. Okay, okay. Let's go now. I guess I will export again as lower. 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 Okay, let's see. Where did I put this? Yeah. Custom scripts. Of course, in Lua, I need to manually utilize the library. Optimization. Show me what the name of the library. Name of the library is from the uh, general options, which are selected by scripting origin. Here it is. But initialize. Okay, let's go. Okay, it does show up. Nice. You can also notice that it's title frame 1, title frame 2, title frame 3, section 3. Now it is working. Okay, I don't know what the issue with this button is. I don't care. Probably a wrong texture. So as you see, I have made the UI with tooltip, with everything. And this was successful. As for the, this JS error, I'm releasing a version within a few hours, really, so this will work. You can count this as fixed already, because I'm releasing 2.1.0, and I will make sure to fix this in it. So yeah, that was, that was it. Have fun, and do remember that submit your 
your designs in the high boost so you can have the chance to have it be put here and in the welcome page when it's introduced. Thanks for listening and have fun.